chilling with Kev. <laughs> it's in the game. Let's get started. For real. Chilling with Kev, for real. Alright, so Kev, where are we going? We're going to uh, history. We want to check out history so real I'm quick. So I'm assuming that's to the right. Yep. Is it? Yep. We go up the stairs? Yep, we're going upstairs. No. Have you ever been told that you can't do something? Hold them high. Who here has ever been told you can't do something? But I'm here to tell you, if you choose to get better and go for it and believe in yourself, there's no telling what you're capable of. What is it people are telling you that you can't do? What's that dream in your heart? What's that thing you're looking to overcome? Maybe it's a big dream or a goal like I've had, or maybe it's something really small that you're having a hard time with and you wanna make one friend, or you're trying to get through a difficult, home situation, someone in your family is sick. You wanna be the first person from your family to graduate from high school and go to college. Whatever that thing is, big or small, that thing you're probably thinking about right now, that thing that's in your heart, don't let what other people say or think stop you from going for it. Questions, chilling with Kev. Chilling with Kev, for real. Here we go. All right. In 2017, you started the Attitude is Everything Foundation. What made you what made you start that organization? Oh, I just I just heard that when you're trying to do something, starting a nonprofit can be a good way to go about doing it. And I didn't yeah. know much about it. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like when I started doing a lot of different things, you kind of just say yes. Gotcha. Um, I got to do an interview right here with a guy named Dean Kane, mm -hmm. who he's famous for playing Superman. And he said, whenever I got an opportunity, I always just said yes, and I figured out the rest later. Gotcha. So that was one thing of why we started it, so that we could go do this at more schools and, gotcha, gotcha. and meet more kids. Yeah, so that was, a, yeah, that's how the nonprofit got started. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Uh, you inspire millions of teenagers. At the end of the day, who really sits you down and inspires you? That's an awesome question. I have so many people that I look up to. Mm -hmm. And that's what's cool about today's world is with your phone, you yeah. can literally have access to anyone in the world pretty much. So before when I used to want to l learn to dribble and get good at basketball, I had to watch literal VHS tapes gotcha. of, of Pistol Pete, that guy I was telling yeah. you about earlier. Yeah. And I watched his movie and um, and so I kind of like tried to pick up, but today I could look up Kyrie Irving, what does he do for his handles yeah, or uh, LeBron or Steph Curry yeah. and I could watch drills and I could practice all the thing. So the biggest difference today is that you have access to this stuff, but then you ask, you have to also take yourself away from it and go practice it. So gotcha. whether it's music, sports, mm -hmm. anything in life, the biggest advantage you can have is to have discipline over your phone time and your screen time. Yeah. And go, all right, cool, I learned how to do that. Now I'm gonna go take four hours and I'm gonna practice it. Gotcha. Because the person who spends the most time practicing something is the person who's gonna become the best at it. Whether it's dribbling, reading, anything else. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, who is Jesse? We know you're a motivational speaker, basketball trick artist, and a best-selling author. But what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And what do you do in your free time? So I am a recovering perfectionist. So mm -hmm. I always want to be perfect with everything that I'm doing, whether it's like how I'm dressed or like this, like here I want this to be yeah. perfect. So like I have to work really hard to um, just go with the flow and be more relaxed. But mm -hmm. part of that is why I've been able to do some cool things gotcha. is because I worked really hard and I put myself in position to be able to get lucky because it kind of takes some luck and some hard work for things to come together for success. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, but I really like nerd out. I love this stuff. I read books about like how to help teenagers yeah. and like I spend Sundays and do podcasts and interviews and travel around in this thing. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to LA to interview a guy named Dr. Sophie who's yeah. on Dr. Phil's shows all the ah, time. Gotcha, so gotcha. he's, he's real people that are smarter than me. I'm always just trying to be around them, whether it's when it comes to helping people, mm -hmm. learning about information, making money, health, relationships. I try to find people that have a good marriage. Like, all right, well, that's what I want. I want to learn from that. People who have great friends, people who um, are good at business and those things. So um, for me, I, I, I enjoy improving. So I think that's thing because you can have this big goal at the end of the day where you're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. But if you get there, 
then you're going to be like, now what? And so you have to learn to enjoy the journey. Gotcha. And that's one cool thing about this bus is when I'm in this thing, I kind of am like, oh, I'm home right now. Like, I don't have to rush to get somewhere. Like, don't rush. Just be here right here in this moment. Because right now, you might look back in the future and be like, oh, man, I wish I could be in that time again where I was yeah. chilling with Kev and everyone loved me at school and I was doing the thing and they had all these things. Yeah. And you'll be like, oh, that was a great time. But I was too worried, too busy worrying about the next thing. So, sure. um I'm someone who's trying to be better about being a perfectionist and trying to be better at working on uh, at enjoying the journey. Thank you. Because I'm always going for it. So, yeah, yeah man, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. They love yeah. you here at the yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. Can I come back and hang out with you more? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I okay. got you. I'm it's always chilling here. with Kev. I got yeah. the official unlimited pass. Yeah. You guys are stuck with me now. Yeah. All right, Archers, yeah. we'll see you later. Peace. Peace. You guys, I'm here to tell you this real quick. You have two options in life. You can get bitter, make excuses, blame other people, give up without trying, which is what most people do, or you can get better. You can throw away those excuses and create the life that you wanna live. The choice is up to you. Your attitude is gonna determine whether you win or you lose when it comes to being happy and successful in your life.